All right. Yes, it's cold. It is winter in Australia, officially. But this thing might warm me up. Maybe. Not him though. No, I don't compromise myself. Exit only, if you understand my drift. Sonic Fox has this comment here. I'm gonna show you what he's replying to in a second. He says, actually, we ran a poll in a private Discord with all the players. All the players. And we collectively agreed on first three. Of course they do. Because when Combat League was changed from first to two, from first to three to first to two, guess who had a meltdown? All the gimps. All the only pros, right? They couldn't handle it. How dare you not be stuck for an extra 10 minutes against someone that is literally just pancaking you with the same boring combo over and over and over again? How dare you, with the purchase that you've made, actually think that you can sit there and have an opinion on all things being gameplay? Well, this comment was in response to this. Final combat format. And the highlighted part, and this was sent to me by Zero Degrees, says that all matches in the group stage are best of five, first to three. So my question to you is, was this changed? Being that it's Mortal Kombat and all, because of the influence and opinion of the only pros. Now, it could have been said at that. It could have been the baseline anyway, and there was no change to be had. But the fact that Sonic Fox is actually talking about it raises questions that go back a long way for me. See, I'm a pretty simple guy. I just expect honesty from people. I don't expect people to lie about me. I don't expect people to make up absolutely false allegations about me because they don't like the fact that a person that is a massive MK fan, but not the greatest, you know, uh, competitor, if you will. I, w I don't expect people to go out of their way to call me a Klansman or not even have the decency to call out the bad behavior of their peers and just let that shit slide. So that's how you can tell the true difference between a man and a gimp. And considering that they have now just admitted that they are all in their own little private discord talking about this stuff, and I go back to previous conversations and whatnot that I've had with people about how they vote their own little groups, and they decided to do videos on me. I have to question, is it the same people? I don't know. But is all of this rigged? Well, I asked a guy that used to compete, who I interviewed, and he said yes, he believes it is rigged. Because they take these top players and they put them in brackets against people that are absolutely gonna have no hope. So they have a nice, easy path to potential victory. And the only time they actually really have to try hard is when they actually get to the finals. To me, that's rigging it, right? Now, I can't prove it one way or, one way or another. I'm just simply uh, telling you what I've been told. But just like other sports out there, it wouldn't surprise me that it is absolutely rigged because there is a lot of money to be made. Now, it's interesting too, when you think about it, how all the only pros and the gimps out there like to point out the fact that these games are made for the casuals. And if that's the case, if the game is truly made for the casual when it launches, then why did everyone in those particular circles get so upset when little old me decides to talk about the combat and say, listen, this isn't fun. Maybe we should include defensive options, maybe from MK11 or previous MK games. Do you guys remember the vitriol about that? Oh, I do. I do indeed. Because these guys decided to accuse me of being a white supreme pizza. I'm being a massive fan of the bad guys from an old movie ending with two. That's how you know these people are weak, that they are gimps. Because they will go out of their way to destroy someone, of all things, talking about not only a video game, 
but an aspect of the game that is a core component to make it fun. You see, if these games were actually made for casuals, then why would they care if things got nerfed? Don't forget that 16-bit, aka Stephanie Brownback, you know that thing that's on the combat cast to the far right? They used to compete. In fact, that person, along with Brant McCaskill, aka Allbrand, both got banned from tournaments. And I asked this guy the other night, who, you know, the competitor, I said to him, why do you think they were banned? Right? And there was even a, uh, there was, I think there was a, a petition. I'd have to find it, but you can search for the petition out there. 16 bit and Brant McCaskill or Pig of the Hut. A petition out there to get them unbanned from tournaments. They don't say why, but I asked this other dude why, and he said because they were rigging shit. And possibly taking money. Now, this is what was told to me. I don't know if it's true, but I have no reason to doubt that this guy would lie, considering everything else I've been told has been the truth. And I really start to question the motives and intentions of these people. When me, when there's many other people in the, in the MK community that had been just as outspoken about the gameplay. But none of them had hate videos made about them. None of them were attacked in such a manner that they were trying to literally not only destroy my channel, but also my reputation. None of them. Now I got asked a question yesterday. Do you think these guys are racist? And I had to think about that for a sec. I wouldn't be surprised that they are. I mean, they all don't share the same skin color as me. And yet, surprisingly enough, the gentlemen that I have on my Discord who are black, well, they're American. None of them have a problem with me. And I've talked to them extensively. I've had shout-out videos done by them. If I was truly racist, then how come they don't see it? Or have I got everyone hoodwinked? The reason why I'm telling you all of this is because it seems that there is a pattern and that Sikanda, or Cupcake, stumbled upon something that I had talked about a long time ago and that the influence that the esports pros have. You see, that's why they get upset when the casuals complain about the game because these games are made for the pros. And then in the hope that the casual audience will just accept it and that fails and then they patch it that's why these only pros get so angry because they're like right you've ruined our game it was never made for the casuals at least the nrs games because of who they've hired to design them the combat and these people have made these games so that they can be for esports type stuff. And then the casual audience gets it and goes, well, this isn't Mortal Kombat. This is shit. This feels like crap. Can we, you know, make it a little bit more balanced? You know, give us some defensive options or whatever that I've been talking about forever. I've actually never called for nerfs. I've actually only ever asked for just more defensive options, right? And then the only pros are like, oh, you've just got to study frame data. That's your defense. Study Uplock, that's your defense. Well, Uplock didn't do shit. And the average casual MK fan is not going to sit there to study a video game that, after a long day's hard work, want to just jump online and have a few matches. We all paid for the same game. And so good old Cupcake decided to call this shit out. Congratulations, you caught up, well done. You know, I wasn't sure you had a brain cell rattling around in that head of yours, considering what we know of the way you treat others, but you never know. Got to give due where it's due. And so, maybe, just maybe, these people were terrified about me stumbling across something. Pointing out something that maybe was being kept under the wraps. We've heard guys like James Fink, who's an awesome dude. Shout out to James. How you going, brother? Talk about publicly the corruption, if you will, the disgrace, the degeneracy, 
and so many other heinous stuff that has been said to me privately that has gone on behind the scenes. Guys, when Brant McCaskill wants to put us on a list for being disrespectful to Mortal Kombat, might want to look at your own history there, sunshine. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Because they already tried everything. They already tried to smear me in ways that the typical lefty communist types do. And now, as they say, if you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will eventually float by. And lo and behold, this community is starting to turn on each other. A community that, for the longest time, I was hoping could turn around. That I just want people who are openly shilling to say, listen, we hear you. We love the game, but we hear you. Just be honest, right? And it appears, and this is the reason why I haven't covered a lot of these guys for a while, is because it looks like, perhaps, they have been. And that's good. Your followers will actually appreciate you more for it. And that's awesome, right? But I think the uh, competitive side, yeah, I would not miss it if it died, right? A lot of these people that I've interacted with or seen are scum. The way they treat people, the lengths they'll go to, the things that are allowed to happen. They don't care about who they'll step on just so that way they can stay relevant and that is all the markings of people that are washed up and have nothing else in their life that they are willing to destroy not just myself but other people in order to maintain relevancy. And so here we have in the last couple of days some cracks showing the possible influence and as I think I stated in the other video you're not going to see videos being made condemning Cupcake from the certain groups they're not going to do that at all because they're all in the same club you understand that right we are all on the outside and because we're all on the outside well that's a threat see I've said a lot have a lot of things being said about me been called a liar and yet there is no proof of lies I never said I was anything other than just a fan of Mortal Kombat. But that alone was enough to put out the most heinous and the most destructive lies that you can tell about someone all over video games. So, from the bottom of my heart to every only pro and gimp out there, fuck you very much. Because I'm still here. And I ain't going anywhere. And my small but slowly growing channel will continue to truck forward just like a locomotive. Because there is nothing stopping the fact that I will always advocate for the truth to be told, for people to be honest, and that we should, as Mortal Kombat fans, have a far better community than the one that has been festering and just been an absolute poo shit stink for, what, almost a decade. Chickens are coming home to roost. I'm gonna pluck them eggs. So I wanna know from you guys whether or not you think this shit is rigged. That the community itself has a lot more to hide than what we already know about. And believe me, the stuff that I already know, well, I won't share that just yet without permission. But my God, no wonder Street Fighter and Tekken have better communities than what NRS do. No wonder.